The following fight video is brought to you by Visalia MMA Gear and Visalia MMA Gear of Hanford. If you tell them Cage Radio sent you, when you buy three shirts, you'll get your fourth shirt free. Only at Visalia MMA Gear. And remember, there is no competition. Period. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mods Cage Radio. I'm going to take it out to the South Valley once again. Another member of TKO be fighting at uh, Up and Comers this Friday in Modesto. Tell the people who you are, my man. I'm Nathan Salim, and I train out of Team KO. I'm from Visalia, California. All right, so uh, take me through it, my man. How long have you been uh, training mixed martial arts? Uh, consistently for about about a year and a half, but inconsistently probably about two or three years. About. Okay, now will this be your uh, amateur debut? Well, I did that, uh, so you think you could fight in Tulare okay. in last September. I won that one, but I messed up my shoulder. I like tore it. So, um, so now I've just been chilling for a little bit, and now I'm barely starting to get back into it. All right. So uh, the So You Think You Can Fight event, that was uh, that was more of a boxing, kickboxing one, correct? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this time you're going to have the uh, MMA gloves on, uh, takedowns, the whole nine. Uh, probably a good little transition right there, in my opinion. That was a fantastic event. But um, – what do you look? Obviously, you're going to be looking for the takedowns and whatnot that are going to be coming at you. What kind of a background do you have? Do you have a wrestling background? Uh, no, not really any wrestling, but I mean, probably about two, three years ago, I got started in a little bit of wrestling stuff. So okay. Got but I got a little bit of jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm more like the stand-up guy, so. Okay, I get it. Right on. All right, so uh, it's going down. It's your amateur debut. Uh, I mean, you've been in fights in the gym every single day training to get up to this. Uh, are you nervous or anything going into your fight or just another day at the office? I'm always nervous. Okay. I think too much. I'm going to try to get that all out by at least Thursday. So, yeah, now, I mean, now, what weight will you be fighting at? Uh, 170. Okay, so how much of a weight cut will that be? Because the weigh-ins are the same day. I was 183. Yesterday morning, and I'm already down to 176. All right. So uh, what do you usually walk around at? Like, obviously, you've been working on it a little bit. You're trying to get it down. Are you, like, around 200 normally you're walking around or what? 192. Okay. Okay. So you've been sacrificing and whatnot. Uh, I'm sure you're getting a little irritable as the uh, as the uh, days are getting closer. You want to eat a cheeseburger? Trust me, I'll eat two for you today, my man. Don't sweat it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, it's going down Friday. What do you know about your opponent and who is he? All I know is that he's had two fights and he's lost them both in the first round by submission. And other than that, he's a southpaw just like me. So. Um. I never really sparred a southpaw, so it's going to be different, but I'm ready. All right, so that should be interesting. Yeah, they were talking about that the other night. You can't just bring a bunch of southpaws in your in your camp and uh, start training to fight one. So uh, it's an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage because, again, you don't have anybody to train in. All right, uh, we're looking forward to uh, your debut. It's going down Friday. Anybody you want to shout out before we let you go, my man? Uh, team KO and all my teammates over here, um, my family, and yeah, thanks to you, Mike, for and thanks time. to you. All yeah, right, KO. all right, Team KO, it's going down. Get your tickets. It's going down in Modesto. We wish you the best of luck, my man. Take care. Thank you very much.